So the first thing you need to learn is how to get a high wall touch that goes towards the net while also getting as close to the ceiling as possible. So it should just miss the ceiling. So once you've learned that, you need to move on to the most important step, which is the jump. So for a flip reset, you really need to be under the ball like this. You cannot get a reset well if you're over the ball. All right, so if I try to go for a reset and it looks like this, I can get a reset, but I just it's gonna be a lot harder to actually score it. So to make sure that you stay under the ball, you either wanna jump as soon as possible. So I'm jumping right after I hit the ball right there. Or you wanna to try to break right after you hit the ball. So I'm tapping break right there and look how much distance I have from under the ball. I have space, I have time, all that. You can either break or you can just jump instantly like this. So if there was like a checklist, you wanna make sure you're getting a high touch and you wanna make sure you're under the ball like this. So now you wanna do those exact steps, but think of it as an aerial. So you're trying to hit the ball as hard as you can, but you also wanna do it as fast as possible. So as soon as I'm jumping off the wall, I'm starting that aerial. Really on this step, you don't wanna wait. So if I wait, I'm gonna start falling and then I'm gonna boost. All right, that's not good. I'm trying to catch the ball on its upward trajectory. So I don't want it to be falling when I hit it. So I'm boosting quickly and I'm hitting it on its way up. And also, you wanna make sure that you're boosting towards the center of the ball. So just get really used to boosting towards the center of the ball like this. And you might be saying, well, this is not a flip reset. This is, a, this is an air dribble or this is an aerial, but it's gonna be a flip reset. All you have to do is flip over. So when you're trying to flip over, I'm boosting at the center of the ball. And then all I'm gonna do, hold air roll, pull back. Hold air roll, pull back. See how my car is not changing direction? Hold air roll, pull back. I'm going in a straight line. That's really important. If you air roll and pull back and get all awkward, you might lose your control. So once you get better, you can do them at the same time like this. But when you're just learning, air roll, pull back. So I'm doing all the same steps, but at the last second, I'm gonna flip over. All right. And then you kind of want a feather boost to just to make sure you get the exact right touch. So I'm aerialing towards the center, flipping over, and perfect flip reset. All right, I can easily score from that position. So I'll show you what happens if I get above the ball. All right, I obviously can't really get a good flip reset from that position. I'll show you what happens if I go too low on the first touch. I get the reset, but look, I'm all the way back here. I'm gonna hit the ground. And then the last mistake is not boosting towards the center of the ball. So I'll show you what happens there. So I get a perfect setup, but I'm boosting under the ball and I miss the ball like that. So that's probably the most common mistake I see is boosting under the ball instead of boosting towards the center. I made a video about that. So I'm boosting towards the center there, and then it's gonna allow me to have that momentum and that speed to actually get the reset, right? So I'm only flipping over once I have the speed. So I have the speed, flip over. And then also, I'll show you what happens if you wait too long. These are all the little mistakes that people make. So if I wait too long, right, I'm falling down. I don't have time to actually shoot the ball. I can get the reset, but I'm not gonna be able to really get a good shot. So perfect one's gonna look like this. So high touch, boost towards the center, flip over, and then shoot, All right? Just a simple flip reset. So I think if you follow each one of these steps individually, you should be able to score a flip reset, um, as long as you're not making any of the mistakes that I laid out. Those are just like the most common mistakes that I see, uh, but they're also very easy to fix, which is a good thing. But yeah, hopefully this helps out.